Hey everyone, Blurry120 here. Destiny 2, beta, we got the Hunter here, and we're going to take a look at the subclasses. We had the Arc Strider gameplay, you can visit the playlist for the beta gameplay and it should have the Arc Strider gameplay there. You can see that video, it basically goes through the storyline missions, playing as an Arc Strider. So we'll go, let's go over the subclasses and the abilities. Deadly Reach, dodging increases your melee range, allowing you to lunge further to strike enemies. After dodging, each arc staff hit creates a damaging lightning aftershock. Combination blow, kill an enemy with this, this melee ability to trigger health regeneration and increase your melee damage temporarily. Melee kills recharge your dodge ability. Hmm. It's all very syner synergistic, but you have, you have to dodge a lot. I'm not sure if that's it's like able to be done. I tried a lot of these different ones. Uh, skip grenade, very weak. Flux Grenade, not so good. Uh, I mean, when it attaches onto enemies, sure, it'll kill, it'll kill that enemy. But Arc Bolt Grenade is the strongest out of all of them. You can put it into the middle of a pack and then just wipe them out with one shot of just like a auto rifle or a submachine gun or something. It's very strong. Arc Staff, form of staff, pure arc energy and acrobatically take out your foes. This is very nice. It's very flashy. Um, I haven't used it to its fullest potential. There is some good gameplay if you watch the video of it, of me taking out like a, a couple packs. But I also in that later in the video I tried to take out like an elite, and it didn't do anything to him. So it's it's very different. Marksman dodge dodge to perform an evasive maneuver while with a steady hand, dodging automatically reloads your weapon, which is nice. Uh, dodge and perform a deft tumble. Avoiding enemy attacks, dodging uh, dodging near enemies, fully recharges your melee abilities. So that's what I was looking at before. I was wondering what would recharge my melee ability, and it seems like this was the one. Um, I'm probably going to go with Gambler's Dodge more so. Because if I'm close to somebody dodging already, I'll probably melee them. And then Triple Jumps is by far the best. I, I don't... I haven't tried any of these. I, I tried the high jump. I wasn't a fan. And then the strafe jump, I haven't tried yet. Maybe it's great in PvP. I don't know. But triple jump is very, very good. It feels very good. Better than D1, in my, my opinion. Okay, got Gunslinger. It says, significantly improve your ability to hit with Golden Gun. Six shooter. Golden Gun can be fired quickly up to six times, but has a shorter duration. Throw a knife from a distance that explodes shortly after impact with the, with this melee ability. Precision kills increase your weapon's uh, reload speed for you and your nearby allies. Very nice. That could be synergistic in in um in group or raid gameplay. Swarm grenade detonates an impact, releasing multiple drones. Uh, trip mine grenade and incendiary grenade. This is your regular grenade. As you think about it, it explodes into an area. This one stays there for a bit and waits for it to pass through. Uh, this is the same as D1. Golden Gun, summon flaming pistol, it disintegrates enemies, same as D1. It looks very nice too. You can see it in K, K does it too. But I've seen it in, in, in PvP and, it, and it's very, very, very good. Same dodges here, uh, and then looks like same jumps. So that is the Hunter, and its subclasses currently we may have a third subclass, like again, like I said, in on release, but that is what we have here. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button if you like this video. I really appreciate it. See ya.